one topic I want to show you very fast is chemisorption, guys. And it's essentially, uh, I like to call it an adsorption in the chemical level or of substances in chemistry. Because you're going to have also physical adsorption, which is not that fancy. But chemisorption is going to be used later on many models to describe the reaction mechanisms. So by definition, it's the result of the sharing of electrons. So that's very important right here between the absorbate and the absorbent. The absorbent will be the catalyst and the absorbate will be the reactant or even the product when it's already produced. Uh, it's a two-step process. First of all, it's a molecular adsorption where the absorbate remains intact. Such an example is alkene binding with a platinum bed. And one or more bonds of the, of the alkene remember the kings are at least two bonds here, will essentially break, so they go break and they absorb with the catalyst here. And then the barrier to dissociation affects the rate of absorption. What's absorption once again? This example could be hydrogen. It's going to be broken down and they are alone here. Here they stay with their, set, with their shape, but here they are separate. And that's essentially on chemisorption, just think about it as a chemical adsorption rather than a physical one. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.